Hello everyone, in this video I am going to talk about triangular matrices, transpose of a matrix and trace of a matrix. Triangular matrices. A square matrix A is called lower triangular if for any i is greater than j, aij is zero. Upper triangular if for any i is greater than j, AIJ is zero. Diagonal, if it's simultaneously lower triangular and upper triangular. That is, for any I is different from J, AIJ is zero. And here, I and J are natural positive numbers. Examples. Suppose that we have three matrices, A, B, and C. Let's look at the matrix of A. A, one, two, is zero, A13 is zero, A23 is also zero. Then, as you see, Aij is zero if I is less than J. And here I and J change from one Two, three. Then, according to the definition, this matrix will be a lower triangular matrix. Let's look at the matrix of B. Here, a, I, J is zero if I is different from J. And I and J change from one to three. Then by the definition, this matrix is a diagonal matrix. Let's look at the last one. As you see here, A21 is 0, A31 is 0, A32 is also 0. Because of this, this matrix will be an upper triangular matrix. Okay, that's it. Diagonal matrix has the following property. The power of diagonal matrix is this one. You can prove this easily using the induction method. We have an important remark. A square triangular matrix A is invertible if and only if all its diagonal elements are non-zero. Transpose of a matrix has the following properties. Transpose of the sum of A and B is equal to the transpose of A plus the transpose of B. The transpose of constant multiple of A is equal to the transpose of A with constant multiple. And so on. Trace. Let's look at the trace. Suppose that A, B, N times N size square matrix. Then the sum of diagonal elements is called the trace of A. This one. Example. We have this matrix and as you see, the sum of diagonal elements will be 1 plus 4 plus minus 3. You see here 1 plus 4 minus 3 is 2. Trace of a matrix has the following properties. 
Suppose that we have two n times n size matrices A and B, then the trace of A plus B is equal to the trace of A plus the trace of B. The trace of alpha times A is equal to alpha times the trace of A. And here alpha is any real number. The trace of transpose of A is the trace of A. The trace of A times B is equal to the trace of B times A. Let's prove them. Let's look at the first one. The trace of A plus B is the trace of A plus the trace of B. Suppose that CII is any diagonal element of A plus B. And I change from 1 to N. Then we can write CII as AII plus BII. Such that AII and BII are corresponding elements of A and B. According to the definition of trace, the trace of A plus B will be the sum of CII I1 to N is instead of CII we write AII plus BII. Then we can write this expression as the sum of A, I, I, I change from 1 to N plus the sum of B, I, I, I change 1 to N. Then this expression will be the trace of A, this one is the trace of B. Then, as you see, the trace of A plus B will be the trace of A plus the trace of B. That's it. Let's prove the second one. Trace of alpha times A is equal to alpha times the trace of A. And here alpha is any real number. Suppose that A, I, I is any diagonal element of A. And here I change from 1 to N. Then alpha times A, I, I, will be the diagonal element of alpha times A. From here, the trace of alpha A will be the sum of alpha times a i i i change from 1 to n is equal to you see here we can factorize alpha alpha times i 1 to n a i i we know that this one is the trace of a alpha times the trace of a okay that's it Let's look at the third one. The trace of the transpose of A is equal to the trace of A. Since the transposition doesn't change the diagonal elements of A, the trace of transposition of A will be the trace of A.
That's it. To prove the last one requires some calculations. I think you can prove it by yourself. That's all. Okay, see you guys next lesson.